Justice Muriel Bowser, she's a member of the D.C. Council, a Democrat from Ward 4. She chairs the Council's Committee on Government Operations. If you have questions or comments from her, for her around ethics issues or anything else, call us at 800-433-8850. There was a direct question we got by way of a tweet, and that was, ask Muriel Bowser if she will refuse future corporate donations. I will not. Actually, I am um, very proud to uh, go out to the community, the business community, the individuals all over Ward 4 and across the city and fundraise. Um, and I'm very proud of uh, the many people that contribute to, to our vision. Um, I will say this also. There's been much said about how many corporations give, but nobody likes to talk about the number of individuals um, who give. So you referenced an article. Well, I suspect what people are concerned about is what they see both in nationally and locally is that in their view there is too much influence by corporations in the legislative process generally both at the level of campaigns and at the level of donations for constituent service funds or anything else like that well, how, how do you address that issue well, that I think that concern. you address it by making clear who's giving. Um, and then when people have questions, now I haven't ex exactly heard that question that this person gave you this and you did that. I mean, I haven't heard that. What I've heard is the, the suspicion um, that that people who give want something. Um, and that and that's that stands to reason. That's why we have to make sure that all of our laws um, make it clear who's giving um, and I think that is when you asked what do we need to do at the council as we look forward to comprehensive look at campaign finance I think there's some there are areas where we can improve this would you support a law requiring more disclosure when it comes to campaign contributions from LLC's I will so we're looking at that now we're looking at what the Office of Campaign Finance needs and what we need to put in place how, so how, long, would that, yes. how long would that take this look um, at campaign finance because I've, I've said to people because I've, I've as a reporter and commentator have said we do need a lot of disclosure and that if you ban corporation ABC which has a contract with the city to do something from giving any kinds of money then the, the principles of ABC its employees its uh, the spouses the will simply give money to a political action committee or they will give money, they'll just transfer the money and drive it deeper down. Or they'll give it individually. Or they'll give it individually, which you cannot ban. And so then you have less clarity as to who's giving the money. Right. And I, I think that... Um we all share the same goal. Uh, we want to make it clear um, who's involved in the process, individuals included. So you can say, you know, Bowser, you are an aggressive fundraiser, which I make no apologies about. Um, you can say that you've gotten these LLCs have given, but nobody mentions all the individuals who are also investors um, in, in, in what we do, and we're very proud of I do that. Th I do think people are right to be concerned about the influence of money in the campaign, and, and I do think if more disclosure is better. I agree with you.